Moving on to the next question that is question number 10. Let theta is in the interval 0 to pi by 2. If the eccentricity of the hyperbola x square by cos square theta minus y square by sin square theta equals 1 is greater than 2 then the length of lattice rectum lies in the interval. Let us start this question from coordinate geometry. It is given that the hyperbola is x square by cos square theta minus y square by sin square theta equals 1. So, eccentricity is square root of 1 plus sin square theta by cos square theta and it is given to us it is greater than 2. This is clear theta is in the interval 0 to pi by 2. So, clearly this term sec square theta its square root will come out as positive sec theta only. So, we have sec theta is greater than 2. Sec theta is greater than 2 meaning what is the interval for theta? It is pi by 3 to pi by 2. So, we have the conclusion theta lies in the interval pi by 3 to pi by 2 because it is 2 to infinity and it is given theta is in the interval 0 to pi by 2. This is clear. Okay. Lattice rectum. What is the length of lattice rectum given by? Length of lattice rectum that is LR you can say is given by 2B square by A meaning 2 sin square theta divided by cos theta. Now, 2 possibilities just simplify for one more step and you can further take derivative in order to apply maxima minima or since these are trigonometric ratios you can plan directly as well. See you can write sin square theta as 1 minus cos square theta. So, it is 2 times 1 by cos theta minus cos theta. This is clear. Now, since theta is in the interval pi by 3 to pi by 2. So, let us write down since theta lies in the interval pi by 3 to pi by 2 that means cos theta is lying in the interval 0 to half minus cos theta is lying in the interval minus half to 0. This is clear. Okay. Moving ahead sec theta 1 upon cos theta meaning sec theta. Sec theta it is between 2 and infinity just add the 2 what you get therefore, on adding sec theta minus cos theta is in the interval 3 by 2 to infinity. If you multiply both sides by 2 you are getting 3 less than 2 times sec theta minus cos theta less than infinity. What is this 2 sec theta minus cos theta? This is the length of the lattice rectum as required LR that is 2 times sec theta minus cos theta. So, what interval we are getting? We are simply getting it is lying in the interval 3 to infinity. So, do we have such an option? Yes, we can see it is available here as option number 4. So, let us mark and mention correct answer. I am sure this is clear. So, let us consider the next question. The value of 0 to pi mod cos x whole cube dx is given by a simple question. We can write given integral as 2 times 0 to pi by 2 cos cube x dx because f of 2a minus x is unchanged because of being modular symbol there. So, it becomes too common. So, 0 to pi by 2. Now, in the interval 0 to pi by 2 cos x is positive. So, we have modulus eliminated this is clear. Now, after this one you have two options either apply cos cube x formula and convert into cos 3 x or directly apply Wally's formula. Applying Wally's rule we have the result 2 times 2 by 3 into 1 that is the result is coming as 4 by 3 right. So, let us look at the given options yes it is there. So, correct answer here is option number 4. So, let us mark and mention it. Let us move on to the next question that is question number 12. Let a 1 a 2 up to a 30 be in a p. S is summation 1 to 30 on i a i. T is 1 to 15, but a of 2 i minus 1. Then a 5 is also mentioned as 27, s minus 2 t is mentioned as 75, we have to find a 10. Question from AP, let us plan, I am sure this would be easier one. 
a1 a2 a3 and so on ap so we can say ap is a1 a1 plus d a1 plus 2d and so on right we have s equals summation a i i is 1 to 30 so sum of 30 terms this is simply 15 multiplied with 2 a1 in plus 29 d this is clear say this is equation number 1 next t that is summation a 2 i minus 1 i is 1 to 15 that means we are saying a 1 plus a 3 plus a 5. So, what is the common difference here? It is 2 d this time. So, this is equal to 15 by 2 multiplied with 2 a 1 plus common difference is 2 d. So, it is 28 d here just 2 cross multiply 2 this gives you 2 t equals 15 into 2 a 1 plus 28 t mark it as equation number 2. Now, it is given s minus 2 t is 75 just apply equation 1 minus equation 2 equation 1 minus equation 2 this is giving us s minus 2 t is equal to we can see that it is 15 into 2 a 1 plus 28 d and equation 1 is 15 into 2 a 1 plus 29 d on subtracting 2 a 1 is cancelled you are left with 15 into d. So, this is equal to 15 d which is 75 this gives us d as 5 I am sure this is clear ok. Next it is also given to me a 5 is 27. So, let us write down a 5 also a 5 is 27 what is a 5 a 1 plus 4 d. So, it is a 1 plus 4 d d is 5 we get a 1 equals 7 because it is 27 minus 20 giving you 7 this is clear. Now, we are looking for a 10 therefore, a 10 is equal to 7 plus 9 into 5 this is clear. So, from here we get 9 5 is a 45 plus 7 that is 52 let us look at the given options. 52 yes it is given here in option number 3 this is clear how we solve it. So, simply it was mentioned like a 5 is there s minus 2 t is there. So, just apply because we have two unknowns a 1 and d and that gives us finally the result as option number 3. Let us move on to the next question.